Hello and welcome to Learn Laravel the Right Way course. You might know me from the Learn PHP the Right Way course, but if you don't, my name is Gio and I've been working with PHP for over a decade and a lot of it involves Laravel. Now, Learn the Right Way is of course subjective and what is right way to me may or may not align with others. That being said, just like my Learn PHP the Right Way course, this course is designed in a way I would want to learn Laravel myself if I were starting out. So let's explore what Laravel is and why it might just be the perfect tool for you to learn. I am super excited for this course and for you to be here, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Laravel is an open source PHP framework that is designed to make developing web applications easier and more enjoyable. It's known for its elegant syntax, robust ecosystem, and provides a rich set of features that enable us to build everything from small websites to massive enterprise applications. Laravel follows the model view controller, also known as MVC architectural pattern, which separates the logic of your application from its presentation. This separation allows for cleaner and more manageable code, and it also makes your application more scalable. If you watched my PHP series, then you should be pretty familiar with the MVC structure. Now let's take a step back and travel back a little bit in time. In June of 2011, Taylor Atwell, the creator of Laravel, released the first version of the framework. He created Laravel out of personal need for a more robust, efficient, and developer-friendly solution than the existing PHP frameworks at the time could provide. Recognizing the limitations of other frameworks, Taylor decided to build his own, which soon began to gain popularity. With each new version, Laravel introduced innovative features such as built-in authentication, a queuing system, authorization, database migrations, ORM, file system, support for various drivers, mailing, bundling system, support for multiple front-end technologies, and the list goes on. Then jumping forward to February of 2015, around the release of Laravel version 5.0 is when I started my journey with Laravel. I did work on some small legacy projects built in Laravel 4, but nothing major. Moving forward to September of 2019, Laravel switched to semantic versioning with the release of Laravel version 6. This meant that minor updates like 6.1, 6.2 and so on no longer introduced breaking changes. Major versions now correspond to full version number increments such as Laravel 7, 8, 9 and so on. And currently we are in the year of 2024 where the current Laravel version is the version 11. So as you can see Laravel has been around for a long time which means that it has been battle tested. While Laravel has many of its features built in, it's worth mentioning that some of its features are based on components from other libraries or frameworks such as Symfony, which is another great framework. Now you might be wondering, why should I learn Laravel? Well, let me share a few reasons based on my experience. Number one, career opportunities. Learning Laravel can open up uh, new job opportunities and projects for you. Laravel has grown popular among businesses and startups, leading to a high demand for skilled Laravel developers. In addition to that, you would not just be learning the framework, you would also be understanding modern web development practices and principles. When working with Laravel, it will sometimes push you out of your comfort zone and spark curiosity about how things work behind the scenes within the framework. And when you dive into it, and I hope that you do, you will gain that additional knowledge and experience which can further boost your career and make you stand out. Number two, faster development and increased productivity. With Laravel, you can get a basic minimum viable product or MVP of your idea up and running within hours instead of days or weeks. But overall, it's relatively simple to get started with Laravel, which makes it an excellent choice for rapid development and increased productivity. Number three, Laravel is a batteries included framework. This means that it comes with many features built in and ready to use out of the box. Some of its features include but are not limited to complete authentication system, ORM, command line interface with pre-built commands, automatic testing, authorization, command scheduler, notifications, real-time events, DI container, templating engine uh, called Blade, queuing system, file system, database migrations, multiple adapters, localization can be paired with many front-end technologies like React and Vue.js, and the list goes on. 
Number four, ecosystem and tools. Laravel has an amazing ecosystem that includes first party tools and packages, community driven open source tools, as well as other free and premium tools. These tools really help streamline your development process. Need to quickly provision and deploy your app? Laravel Forge has got your back. Looking for a base starter kit to bootstrap your application? Laravel comes with multiple preset starter kits that fit most needs. So when it comes to Laravel and its ecosystem, you really have a lot of options. And number five, documentation and simplicity. Despite its powerful features, Laravel is known for its simplicity and easy to get started and ease of learning, especially compared to other PHP frameworks. Part of why Laravel has a lower learning curve is its excellent documentation. It is comprehensive, well-structured, and easy to navigate, making it simpler for beginners to find the information that they need. All right, so should you learn Laravel? My answer to that is absolutely yes, because Laravel allows you to build applications efficiently while being super productive. It provides a solid foundation to build your applications, so in my opinion, yes and yes 100%. I know this whole thing probably sounded like an advertisement, but believe me, it's not. It's just the way I feel and wanted to explain to you what Laravel is, its benefits, and why you might want to learn it. Alright, if you're as excited for this course as me and are ready to learn, please continue watching the course and have fun along the way. In the next episode, we're going to go over what you can expect from this course and what the prerequisites are. But for now, I want you to think about what you might want to create with Laravel once you've learned the basics. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And until next time, happy coding.